Right, we got a special treat for you guys. This is Tim, the Mustache Man. Yeah, Captain Morgan has it Captain done. Morgan, made famous by Chad and Paul's video about their new storyteller. So, Tim's granted us a little bit of time this morning to uh, tell us what storyteller is about, and their really different approach to not only building but buying a van. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna hand him the microphone, and um, and the beast is really beastly. So yes. I'm super cool super stuff. curious about the lights. We gotta jump in there and take a look at that. Thanks for uh, being here. This is a super cool opportunity to be at the Tampa show um, and, and showcase uh, seven bands that we have here. Um, so Storyteller is just a super cool company. We we do things you know quite differently in this space. Um, you know our buying process is is quite a bit different. Um, we have a, a, a see through price, so you know what you're going to pay um, right up front. It, it's the same across the entire country uh, throughout our dealer networks. And um, you know the 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 beast is 189, 743. The stealth is 154, 454, and the mode is 149, 748. It's the same price everywhere you go. Um, we've had tremendous success, as most of you all know. Um, you know we're 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 pretty much uh, on order basis, so uh, uh, production slots. Um, looking at um, around October for uh, 2022s right now. You know, we get a lot of phone calls about um, customizations and, and, you know, add-on features and all that because these are very personal things. Um, you know, everyone wants to personalize their van. They name them. Uh, they're part of the family. Um, you know, as far as what is uh, capable or what we're capable of or what we're willing to do, we do a very automotive style process. Um, so uh, it's very structured uh, in order to keep the quality high, to keep our uh, speed, but we don't do any deviations from our process. So we don't do any add-ons or takeoffs. Um, all that can be done aftermarket after you pick up your van uh, and customize it through your dealership or through you know some other vendor partners like Agile or Al or Van Compass. Um, you know, there's plenty of uh, stuff out there with a, a simple Google search where you can find tons and tons of accessories. Uh, but as far as we go, we get the van ready for you, you pick it up at your dealership, and then you can go crazy with it. the beast uh, it's super beasty you can you can see here it's very popular uh, a lot of people want to see it we actually uh, are test driving one as well uh, for people who you know have never driven a, a storyteller um, our storytellers are the quality is so high that when you drive them it's the quietest RV that I've ever driven and I've been in the RV industry for since I, I started working in a uh, lot washing campers when I was 14 um, then I started selling them and and you know all everything in between um, and these are just the quietest RVs that I've ever driven. So no so shakes, no cool. rattles? Yeah, no squeaks, rattles, um, just super cool. Yeah, so our floor plan, you know, it's really uh, versatile. So everything is multifunctional and multi-purpose. You have a very small space. We keep everything ex super open um, so that, you know, you have uh, 19 feet essentially inside. And so 
Uh, we don't want to put any obstructions um, so that it feels big even though it's really small. So you have a groove lounge here that gives you um, the option to recline uh, forward facing or rear facing. Uh, it's a bed. It is a uh, traveling seat uh, with two seat belts um, and then also a love seat style where you can sit you know five adults uh, and have dinner play cards. Um, we have our shower system that tucks away um, so that you're only going to use that maybe one percent of the time that you're camping um, and so this is a solution to have it out of the way but still be able to use it. Our shower pan is also the step to get inside to get up on the bed. Uh, it is an elevated platform because we have the garage space so you can haul all your gear um, that you're you know going to be adventuring because this is a, an adventure van um, and uh, you know one side of the bed drops down and is a workbench or a standing office or you know a lunch spot you know for you know right now in, in COVID some places aren't open for indoor dining it's cold outside it's raining well here's your indoor dining right here and then uh, we have uh, our Volta system, which is just an, an absolute incredible system that allows us uh, tremendous power to run our, our vans on um, and gives you the usability to, uh, you know, really get out there and, and be off, off grid and, and boondock. And, and if it's warm and hot outside, then you can run your AC for, you know, 11 and a half to 13 hours, depending on you know, the ambient temperature and humidity and all that great stuff. But if you have pets, you, you can trust that your pets are gonna be cool uh, while you're out doing a hike for a couple hours and, and you're not gonna have to worry about that because you have plenty of power to do that. And um, Tim, what's the watt, uh, kilowatts or the... Yeah, so we, it's a 13.5 kilowatt system. It's 12 kilowatts of usable power. Um, and then we recharge our batteries on an eight kilowatt alternator. Um, so that gets us uh, the ability to charge this from zero to a hundred in about an hour and 20 hour and 30 minutes Which is absolutely incredible. Volta is just the magic. So thank you so They're much. So, so this is pretty cool um, Jack from Volta uh, pointed us out when we were walking around that this is actually where the energy pack is for their Volta system Which as we know is really massive uh, 13,000 um, watt hours you know, 13 kilowatts of juice. It's in the side wall here. So it can be done uh, very inventively uh, under the uh, guidance of Volta, but I'm just really proud that these guys have a Volta system number one and have a really clever installation versus it hanging out the back. And they're just such cool people. Like they really care about what's going on, the industry, you know, we're not their only partner and, and every partner that they have really speaks the same, mm -hmm. uh, which says something. Yeah, customer experience. Yes, absolutely. So with the beast here, I want to show you something. Yeah. There's this, this number plate here, it says Storyteller Overland Beast number 29. So we limited uh, produce these. Uh, we, we're making 50 vans a year. Uh, so we number plated them. You know, it's kind of like that special club kind of thing. You have your number plate. It's super cool. Um, this light system here that uh, Scott's really excited about. <laughs> it's super cool. It's like your, your airplane style. They're super high quality. They light up when you light them up. We're probably blinding a few people right now, That's but right. <laughs> they're just super cool. I just love that. Apollo 11 space capsule. Stuff. Yes, exactly. It's like ready for launch. Super impressive. You guys have just, you know, come out of the gate. You're like three years old. Is that right? Something like yeah. That? Yeah. Yep. And just have hundreds of happy customers. And yes. And more and more. A lot more waiting. <laughs> yes. A lot more waiting. That's one of the for worst sure. things about van life is waiting for your van. I had to wait yes. for six months for mine. So it's like yeah. being pregnant. Uh, so now I, as a guy, kind of know what that feels like, waiting six months to have delivery. Um, but thanks, Tim, for, for all the things you guys do in the, in the community at large. Yes. And uh, really building some cool product. Absolutely. How they find out about you? Yep. So we have our website, StorytellerOverland.com. Um, you, can, you can send us an email. You can find a dealer. Uh, you can call us. You'll most likely talk to me. Uh, I love talking to you guys, so uh, feel free. If you can't remember anything else, the dude with the stash. Yes. <laughs> That's so awesome. Thanks again. Appreciate it. Bye. Really want to uh, thank Tim for spending a few minutes. It's super busy here at their booth, just giving us a little rundown of the the storyteller story and uh, and some of their vans. Um, would I buy this van? No, because the floor plan doesn't work for me. I need to have a bathroom that's a real bathroom I can use, like I did this morning, showering my Travato 59 GL. So this um, kind of rig really wouldn't work for me. The floor plan. That's why it's really important to understand 
why you want to RV, and I think that why determines how you RV and drives the what kind of rig do you need. What I do really love about these guys is that they're being super innovative, not only on their manufacturing process, their floor plans, super innovative, and their pricing. I think the overall B market can actually learn a few things from these guys because it is vastly different than what the other people are doing. So my thumb is up to them on innovation on so many levels. I just love these color schemes. So I'm just curious, what kind of uh, thoughts do you have on this fan? Something you'd be interested in? Um, thumb up, thumb down, side, sideways maybe? Um, is this a rig uh, you can see yourself RVing in or is it just kind of an inspirational, aspirational vehicle for you? Uh, comment below, let me know. And then check them out if you're interested in this stuff. Um, and Chad and Paul, by the way, um, they're, theirs is right over here. Well, um, they can't wait to pick theirs up next week after the show's over. Chad and Paul, check them out if you haven't already.